So different materials can store different amounts of heat energy. And it's the specific heat capacity which tells us about that. So looking at electric heaters, different types of electric heater can use different materials to store and transfer heat energy. And they may transfer their stored heat energy to a room the next day after heating up at night when the cost of electricity might be lower. And so here's a test. We've got two radiators and they're heated to the same temperature. And one is oil filled and one is water filled. Notice they have the same mass of oil and same mass of water. And we have to explain which radiator will store the most heat energy. Well, this is a fairly straightforward question because we need to look at the specific heat capacity. And look at an, looking at oil, we see that oil has a specific heat capacity of 1,970 joules required to heat one kilogram by one degree Celsius. Whereas water has a specific heat capacity of 4,200 joules needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram by one degree Celsius. So we can see that water needs a heck of a lot more energy to raise the temperature by the same amount. And if we raise these two to the same temperature, then it must be water, that is, uh, the water-filled radiator that stores the most heat energy. So in a nutshell, why does it store the most heat energy? It has the highest specific heat capacity, and it has the same mass as the oil.